you hear the music and the creativity that goes with it in all those bands, the improvisation. You see all around the country, young people doing their best on music, wanting somewhere to rehearse and so on. And young people wanting to act, wanting to make films, wanting to do all the creative things. I want to lead a government that says, great, we are a creative nation, we are creative and innovative people. Let's make sure under Labour, every child in every school gets to learn a musical instrument. But it's also about the jobs and economy. Others have pointed out that over the past eight years, poverty and inequality and injustice have increased in this country. Wages have been frozen for a very long time. Real wages are actually falling for many people. There are almost a million on zero hours contracts who don't know how much they're going to earn from one week to the other. And there are another 400,000 children living in poverty over the last eight years. And as Dennis pointed out, that number will inexorably increase the longer these wretched Tories remain in office. It needs a Labour government to invest. And with the hand holding with Donald Trump back in vogue again, I fear for a race to the bottom on our rights, our regulations, our justice and our work. We have won rights to holiday pay, to maternity leave, to paternity leave, to work in a safe environment and the right to join a trade union. All weakened under the Tories. I want to lead a government that strengthens all of those rights and encourages people to come together and join a trade union. And to lead a government whose bottom line on negotiations over Brexit are defence of jobs, defence of living standards, defence of decency within our society and trade, yes, that guarantees jobs. The alternative is what Boris Johnson, Liam Fox and many others offer, which is uh, a hands-on trade deal with Donald Trump, which will bring you chlorinated chicken, GM foods, a race to the bottom, an end to all the regulations that we, we the Labour movement, have won over very many decades. We're not giving up, we're not going away. We're going to fight for those jobs. But I say to our friends all across Europe, and I've been in many European countries over the past three years, we are with you on an anti-austerity strategy. We are with you in demanding an end to inequality and injustice. And I say to those in our own movement in other parts of the world, if you think going into office is all about managing another round of austerity and another round of cuts, you will create a political vacuum that will be filled by the far right and the racists who will blame the minority. Our strength, our importance is to bring people together for economic justice, an ending of inequality and yes, an investment-led economy. And so I want to lead a Labour government that gives workers the power so that Karelian...